And we're back on Tael War, and today we're going to be doing the Feral Go Guide. So, so far we've done Red Deer and Seeker Deer Guides. Both of those will be in a playlist that I will link at the end of the video so you guys can check them out for yourselves. But yeah, we're going to be talking all about Feral Go today, starting with their drink time. So they drink from 1500 to 1800, or 3 p.m. to 6 p.m., just however you want to look at it. Basically, we can go down here to one of their zones, and as you can see right there, 15 to 18, which is right in the middle of the day. It's honestly a really good drink time for them. They are a class 3 animal, which honestly doesn't give you a ton of options for guns. I was looking through some of the guns. There really isn't a lot of guns that cover class 3. Um, we do have a couple examples here, though. We have the um, the air rifle. So the air rifle is recommended classes 2 through 4. Effective range is 50 meters, and magazine size is 7. This gun is actually pretty good. I did a hunt on it. Uh, I did a hunt with um, this gun on Yukon Valley. About a month ago, I think I did a video on it as well, and it was pretty good. The only downside is you do have to be really close, and as it says, effective range of 50 meters. You have to get pretty close to the animals to use this gun, but it overall is a really good gun. It's pretty fantastic, actually. Then we have the 3030, the Whitlock Model 86 3030. This gun recommended classes 2 through 6, effective range 75 meters, and magazine size of 4. Another gun that you have to get just a bit closer with, but overall, it's a good gun. We did a hunt... I'd say about two weeks ago on Verhunga with this gun, and it did pretty well for itself, honestly. Then we have the 243 rifle. The 243 rifle would be my pick, honestly, if I was going to hunt feral goats. The effective range is 150 meters, recommended classes 2 through 6, and magazine size of 5. This gun is really good. It's the gun you start out with in the game. And honestly, it just it's overall just a good gun. You could also use the 243 handgun, but I decided to go with the rifle because the rifle has more shots. The handgun only has a single shot, but overall, it is a good gun as well. Max level for um, Feral Goats is level 5, but you will occasionally find level 4 diamonds. I said this with the Sika Deer as well. Any animal that has a max level of 5 will sometimes have level 4s that end up making diamond. It doesn't happen all the time, but it can happen. I've seen it happen, with the Feral Goats especially. Max weight is 50 kg, silver is 89.4, gold is 157.6, and diamond is 208.7. So if you see a feral goat, level 4, level 5 with an estimate of 208, um, or it goes above 208 or whatever, it could be a diamond. And now the feral goats, they do troll quite a bit. And what trolling is, trolling is essentially just an animal that has an estimate that could be diamond, like if it's over diamond or whatever, but just does not make it, especially if it's max level. If you find a level 5 max level goat that just does not make diamond at level 5, um, that is a troll. And they do that all the time. They're one of the worst animals in the game when it comes to trolling. Let's see, what else do we have here? The um, fur types. So they have a bunch of fur types, actually. The common fur types are black brown, black white, blonde, brown, dark brown, white, and white brown. The rare fur types are albino, black, and mixed. Some of the three rare, rare fur types. The only rare fur types are the feral goats, but they do have a ton of other common fur types. And I think that is all I have wrote down here. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to show you some of my best zones. And really quickly, I do want to go ahead and throw this gun into the mix. The Solokin MN 1890, or the Mosin as most people call it. This gun would also cover class 3 if I'm not mistaken. I just wasn't able to actually put it in my inventory at the time. We can go ahead and go down here to the ammo and we can actually take a look really quickly. Um, let's see, where is it? I think it's towards the bottom here. Um, yeah, there it is right there. So it covers classes 3 through 7. This gun would actually probably be pretty good, and I might actually take it with this instead of like the 243 handgun or something like that. Or maybe I'll just make space for it, but I did want to go ahead and show you that gun really quickly, because it will cover class 3, and it honestly would probably be pretty good on the feral goats as well. But yeah, let's go out there and let's see if we can find us some feral goats. And we're going to go ahead and start things off here at the Bay of Rest. The Bay of Rest is on the western side of the map here, and it's actually pretty good. There's only one zone, though, for me. I mean, you could have more zones. You could have two or three. Everyone's maps are different, but it's got some decent males at it here. We have a level 3 there, 128 to 156. This one is a level 4, 143 to 172, and then another level 4, 158 to 187. And yeah, um, so they're just now getting into their zones as well. I set the time to about 1525, I want to say, and they're just now getting in. It's already 16, almost 1620 now. So it seems like feral goats do take some time when they're getting to their zones, but we're going to go ahead and take down one of these guys. He's about 275 out. I think we're going to go ahead and go for that guy, and I did go ahead and get the Mosin instead of the 243 rifle, just because I think it'll be a little bit different and it'll kind of switch things up just a bit. And yeah, let's go ahead and see if we can get this guy. We're going to have to aim just a little bit above his back there, but that should be good. We definitely hit him. Yeah, he's going to go down 50, 75, 25. He is going to be down right there. Now, this gun might be the best one overall. Here he is right here. Let's go ahead and pick him up, and he will be a gold at 172.66. Got him in the left lung right there, and yeah, overall, that was a really good left lung shot. Um, got him at 273 meters with the Mosin, and it took him down pretty quickly, and overall, it might be one of the better guns for the um, Feral Goats. But let's go ahead and let's go out there. Let's go see some of our um, other zones and stuff, and let's test out the air rifle and the 30-30. 
And now we're here at the Lake Wakti. This is the big lake at the bottom of the map. We have two zones right here. We have a feral goat zone there, and then another feral goat zone there. And they're actually pretty good. You've got some decent level 4s, level 3s in here. Um, this herd is pretty big, and then we have a really big herd to our right as well. And yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and take one of these guys down. That one is actually pretty big, 171 to 199. He's probably our best one of the day, I would say. Yeah, let's go ahead and let's get him down. He's about 150 out. I think we'll use the 30-30. We'll have to aim maybe just a little bit high, but I think we can manage to take him down here. Let's go ahead and let's go for this guy. Let's go for that shot there, and that should be good. That looked pretty good. Yeah, he's going to go down 50 to 75. Yeah, he's not, he's not, he's not going to go too far. Let's go ahead and let's reload, and let's go over there, and let's get him. And here's this level 4 right here. Let's go ahead and pick him up and see how we did. He will be a gold at 174.82. Got him in the left lung, thoracic vertebrae, and the right lung. And overall, yeah, it was a good shot. Um, double lung with the 30-30 and took him down at 150 meters. We're going to go ahead and accept that. And I did hear them coming back in, it sounded like. If we get one with the air rifle right here, that would be pretty cool. But we are kind of running out of time when it comes to their drink time. It's like 1700 right now. Let's go ahead and jump to some of their other best spots. Okay guys, so now we're here at the Pukumero Lake, and honestly, this is a really good spot. You have some decent zones over here. There are four zones in total for me. You have one right there, there's another one here, another one there, and then one right over here to my right, and they're pretty good. They've got some really decent herds at them. This one has some nice level fours in it. If we can spot some of them, let's see where they at. There's one right there, 168 to 197. He's a decent one. 139 to 168 there. Then we have another zone over here. There's a red deer right there for some reason. These are actually starting to kind of move out, and that's what they do towards the end of their drink time. They will start like kind of walking away and stuff. But you got some nice level fours over here, and then we have a really good zone right here in front of us. That is pretty decent. You got some really big level fours, 138 to 167. He's not that big, but one of these is goes up to like 205. It's actually going to be that guy right there, 176 to 205. And yeah, you can just kind of see the picture. Then over here to our left, we have another zone that pretty much is all females. It looks like, but yeah, really good spot over here. I do want to try to see if we could take. One down with the air rifle it is close to their drink time being over so i might end up having to reset the time that's probably what i'll do but we're going to go ahead and see if we can get one of these guys with the air rifle really quickly Okay guys, so of course the wind is going to be going in their direction as soon as I get ready to head over there, but yeah, you can just kind of see some of the better ones over there. There's a level 4 there, a 167 to 195, some really decent ones for sure, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and jump to some of our other zones. Like I said, it's almost time for them to be done here. I think we have a few zones over here, let's see, do we? Um, I don't know for sure. There's one right there, Um, there's one zone there, and then we have a second zone there. Two zones at that lake just above the Pukumero Lake, and then we have quite a few zones over this direction. Let's head, this, let's head over here and let's check out some of these. Okay guys, so we're at this lake right now. We're actually pretty close to these. There's a decent level 4 there. We're going to go ahead and take him down with the um, air rifle. We're about 50 meters out, and we should be able to just go for that there, and that should be good. And yeah, it might take him just a little bit to go down. Yeah, 50-75 though. He is going to go down there. And like I said, the air rifle overall is a pretty good gun. We have a few zones over here. Let's see. This is one of the Rot Ratanui Lakes. We have a zone right there that we're on right now. Um, I, they weren't over here for some reason. We have that zone that we just shot at. Um, let's see. What else do we have? There's another zone there. They're actually just right over there. They've got some decent level fours in there. Um, that one's really decent. Not that one. Not that female. But this one right here, the white one, um, 160 to 189. Let's see. Do we have any other zones? There is another one right there. That one's actually really good. Can we spot them from over here? There they are, right over there. There's some decent males in there as well. Let's go ahead and let's get this level um, 4 that we shot. And then we're going to go ahead and head to the last Rottenui Lake up here at the top. And here's this guy right here picking him up. He will be a silver at 148.21. Got him directly in the left lung right there. And yeah, he didn't go too terribly far with the air rifle. It's probably not the best option, I would say, for the feral goats. But it is overall a pretty decent gun in general. But yeah, it took him down pretty quickly. And overall, I would say probably the best one is going to be the Mosin. It took that one down really, really quickly. But let's really quickly head up there to this last lake. I'll show you some of those zones. And then we'll kind of wrap it up from there. Okay, guys, so we're up here at this lake right now. It's currently 1830. Some of them have stuck around. We have a level 3 right there. We also have a level 4 that is actually still drinking for some reason. 130 to 159. But yeah, this spot is pretty good. You have three um, zones just right across here on that side. One right there, one in the middle, and then one over here to the right. But overall, these two lakes are pretty good. The Ratanui Lakes are good. The Pukumero Lake is good. Even the river is decent for feral goats. I have like four or five zones along there. Then you have this one, the Lake Wakati is pretty good. And then over here at the Bay of Rest. But now I'm going to go ahead and show you the full map so you can see where all the zones are going to be so you can start finding your own. And here's my feral goat guide right here. As you can see, on the western side of the map, we do have quite a few zones. Definitely check that lake at the very top of the map. I'm on the western side. It's got some decent zones at it. The Bay of Rest, obviously. And then down there, just below the Bay of Rest, at some of them smaller lakes. 
Then over there along the river is really good. The Wakati Lake um, at the bottom of the map is really good. And then over there on the right side, we checked all them lakes, except for that one um, with the two stars at it. The one that just had the two zones at it. But all of them were really good. The Pukimeru, the Ratanui Lakes, they were all fantastic. But definitely go check them areas out, find your zones, and then get to hunting some feral goats. They're really fun to hunt. Like I said, they do troll all the time. But they are really fun to hunt. But I really do hope you enjoy this video. I hope it was helpful for you. And remember to like, subscribe, comment, do all that stuff. It really does help out the channel, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.